install smart pss which is what we need since you have a recorder we'll click next and then we'll click on the install screen what this is going to do it's going to install the the software on your system create uh, the icons on your desktop that are needed initially the first time that you install it it is going to ask you uh, what default password you want to use and you have to be careful for the little box because it'll just pop up right after you finish the installation and uh, by default, I always, you know, uh, uh, do admin, admin, uh, but you can actually add uh, a particular password uh, that you normally, you know, would use. And I just want to remind you that this password that we would enter in this box is actually not the password for your recorder uh, that you were, that you created when the system was installed. This is a just a password for the program so uh, that you can just access the, the program locally on your PC. So let's say if you have, you know, a few employees, maybe, uh, you know, they don't have or they shouldn't have access to the system for whatever reason, you can actually create a password so that no one but you has access to it. Uh, but if, if uh, you don't mind that they have access, I would imagine if they have access to your computer, maybe it's okay for them to look at the, the the cameras and I just tell it to remember the password which is just admin admin we'll log in and that will bring us up to the software itself um, the software uh, the main two uh, that you'll see is you know uh, live view and playback and uh, that's the most common ones that people uh, install on the system but what we're gonna do now is actually add the recorder because when you first install your software you've installed the program but you haven't told the program you know the specifics of hey where's the recorder and it could either be in your same building or it could be across the world somewhere so we're gonna go to devices the very blue icon here and I already have one uh, set up but uh, I'm going to add another just as a as a reference so what we'll do is we're gonna click on add and it's gonna ask us uh, the name the name can be anything so it can be, you know, like shop or or uh, home or uh, whatever specific name you want to give it. There's two different ways you can connect. And depending on, on your IT, um, you know, whoever uh, configured it for you, they might configure it different ways. But uh, if you're a large company, you might have an IP address uh, or a domain. Uh, you know, most, you know, mo most businesses or homes are going to have what's called a, a serial number and this serial number is unique to your recorder um, and so it's very important that you know you keep this information which is given to you when when the installation is provided uh, so you would just enter you know your serial number which would be you know XYZ and it's a bunch of numbers and letters and and then here you would enter your username and your password for uh, your recorder and like I mentioned before, this is the actual recorder software, not the software password that we were talking about before, just to access the program on your computer. So we'll click save and continue. Once you do that, it will add it to your system. And after a few minutes, this online status is going to basically, it's going to go from being red offline to a green online. And sometimes you will see a message if there is an error, like wrong, pa wrong uh, password. And so we can actually, you know, go into the pencil and modify anything that's needed. So if we do need to change the password or maybe, you know, the, the user is case sensitive. So if you accidentally typed in a capital A versus a lowercase A, you can change that and then click save. So once we know the, the system's online, uh, we know that, uh, you know, we're good to go. So that's pretty much how to install the smart PSS software on a PC and uh, how to add uh, your recording uh, unit. Um, another thing I may uh, want to add also is that if if you're if you have the software locally there in your office or your or your business, uh, you can just click on search and it'll search for it automatically and find it. But if you're across, uh, you know, somewhere across the world, uh, it's better to do it through the serial because let's say if you have the software installed on your laptop you may do a lot of business traveling and or or even you know if it's for your home you may personally do a lot of traveling so no matter where you're at you you know you get on the hotel wi-fi and you're able to connect to your system and do playback
But yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys.